Hello there, troopers. How are we doing? Right. So we see here we have a box. Uh, what counts is what's actually in the box. So continuing with the cost box products, we have in this box a cost box digital sound amplifier, basically a mini amp. So basically, when you get in the box. You get your amp, which is that side. We'll get around to that in a minute. You get um, a cable for plugging in to the amp, and then from whatever device you want the sound to come from, you get your charging cable, C port, obviously, which is good. You also get um, a, a strap. Obviously, you could use that for stringing it around your neck, whatever. And then, obviously we have this side we have the actual amp itself so once again it's pretty straightforward it's basically a speaker amplifier um, you've got on off switch you've got an aux and you've got a mic in that side you've got your charging which is where your charging cable fits in obviously and then this end will fit either to your plug or to your PC whichever way you want to uh, charge it. This bit on the top here, or these prongs on the top here, as you can see they move around. That is for connecting to the to the strap. You've also got a belt clip, which is removable if you want to. That can just come away. Um, belt clip, obviously, clips to a belt. Let's get that back on if we can. Yeah, and on we go. So that is it, simple as. Um, it comes out of the box, it's not charged when it comes out of the box, so you have to charge it. Um, it's all in the instructions on how you charge. You basically plug it in, once the light goes out, it's fully charged. Simple as. Um, just like all of the cost box products that we seem to get at the moment. Now, um, I bought this for various, various uses, obviously, but um, predominantly one would be assume that you're going to use it with your Cosfox voice, um, Cosfox voice, Cosfox uh, sound module. So what we're going to do, we're going to try it with the sound module. What I'll do first, I'll give you an example of what it sounds like with the actual speaker that comes with the sound module. We'll uh, take that, plug that in like that. So that's your standard speaker that comes with your sound module. You can see the difference in size straight off. So let's turn the sound module on and we'll give it a go. Give it a blast. Pretty straightforward. Okay, do that again. So that's that's what you get with your standard speaker from your Cosfox sound model. Right, so we're going to plug in into the mic section and then plug this into the sound module. We're then going to turn it on. Just turn it on. <clears throat> no extra volume at the moment. And hit the fire button. As you can see straight away, totally different sound, larger sound. So what you can find out is if you turn it up just a little bit, we'll hit it again. Man, that is loud. Okay? So, as you can see, the total difference, there is more, obviously, volume control. And when you are cosplaying, you're usually in a, in a big open space where there's lots of noise going on. So to have that extra volume is always very useful. I mean, that's not even, that's possibly half volume, and you're getting that. We won't play that for too long because we'll probably get hit for that. But um, Let me see your identification. As you can see. Turn it up. I'm going to put it on to full volume now. Be be prepared. That is extremely loud for what it is. Obviously distorted because it's too loud for that. So there you go. That's it with the sound module. One of the main reasons why I bought it was to use it with this piece of ancient technology that I've had for years. This is a ROM FX voice modulator. This is what I use to create my Stormtrooper voice effect 
Um, I love it because it's just so ridiculously old school and analog. Um, there are many, many types of um, voice modulator out there now. Um, I might put a few links in in the comments um, just to show that they are. Unfortunately, this one is no longer available. That's why I love it so much. Uh, the guy used to make these for years. I've had a couple of these through my um, stormtrooping uh, life and this one is still going and I love it. I love it just like I say, it's just the old scratchy man analog sound that it gives to you. So what I have is the actual speaker that came with the kit. Bearing in mind, this is probably about 10 years old now, so it is knocking on a bit. So with the speaker that you come with the kit, you do have a little bit of volume control, but not a lot. As you can hear, that's there. But if you imagine that's that's at full volume, full of volume from here, because you can alter the volume in there and you've got a little tiny twisty bit of the side. So I'm gonna turn on my mic so we can go connect that up and let you see what it sounds like when the actual mic is used with my voice hello hello everyone i hope you can hear me and obviously it's got the radio clicks in it as well which is the one of the reasons why i love it so much so that is it on the regular speaker that comes with it we're now going to plug it we're now going to plug it into, oh, this is being annoying today. We're now going to plug it into, we're going to plug it in to the cough box. And hopefully we will see a difference. Just turn it off for a second. So if you imagine, like I say, that's that's a you know just a speaker. There's no there's no uh, amplifying in that. It's just a straightforward speaker. Okay, so now we're going into the cost box, which we will turn on a little bit, and then we'll turn on the ROM FX. That's quite quiet at the moment, but as you can see, the more we turn it up better the sound. This really picks up the modulation sound on the speaker, so it makes it sound even worse. I think we're, I think, I think we're actually getting a bit of, oh, hello. I think we're actually, you know, and now it stopped working. That's typical. There we go. No. Okay. Oh. Okay. We're going to stop there. 